In this video, I'm going to show you the most overpower, overpowering blitz uh, in the game, and it's going to come to us out of the 1-4 or the Dime 1-4 or 9146 as it was formerly known uh, play uh, formation, and we're going to show you this. This is absolutely incredible. It comes in against a block running back, comes in against block tight end, comes in against block receiver. It's a really, really, really good blitz. If you want to learn my whole defensive ebook out of the 146, I think 146 is working its way to be the best defense in the game. It, it definitely has the best pressure in the game. And we, in the ebook, we teach you some of the concepts coverage wise that you can use to make this play uh, or this formation absolutely incredible. So if you want to learn the whole 146 defense, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And it gets you access to all the ebooks and all the updates. Look forward to updating this ebook with a couple new coverages that i've been running out of this uh but this blitz is incredible so uh the play is db sting and we're just going to go to the gun bunch formation for this and grab you know any old any good play here corner strike is a good play so corner strike and then we're in db uh 146 no coaching adjustments necessarily i like to put my um my my formation to match coverage uh but that's basically all i do okay so the setup here is really simple. We're just going to pinch our D line. And then from there, you notice that we have really good alignment stock. Now, what we want to do here is we're going to have to go user the tight end. You see how the tight end is kind of, kind of misaligned. Um, that's the one backdrop. So what I like to do is man up the safety on the solo receiver and then man up the solo corner on the running back. So I'm not worried at all about the left side of the field. I'm literally at the snap of the ball. I'm going to absolutely deadbeat sprint to the tight end. That's my main thing here. So um, what you're going to see is this blitz absolutely will scream off of both sides, and we're just running right at the tight end. The tight end is our priority, and we know that the blitz is going to come in super fast, so we don't need to cover for very long. Um, you could, if you wanted to, run this play stock. If they are blocking their running back consistently, then you can run this play stock. And you'll see right here that if they are doing that where they're just blocking the running back every single play, then what you'll notice here is this will still scream off of uh, the right side. So you're still going to probably get pressure off of one of the two sides. And essentially, they're going to have to block uh, at least seven. Now, another thing you can do with this is you can spread your linebackers. Um, so you're going to pinch your D-line, spread your linebackers. What this can do is sometimes help you a little bit more consistent against a blocked running back specifically. Uh, you'll get some B-gap pressure. But the other thing that's a really big benefit of the 146 formation is the fact that these outside guys are linebackers. So they're going to get these edge threat instant wins animations as well. So it doesn't really matter how many people they block, they're going to get screamed at. In Dollar, you don't get these edge threat animations. And this is what makes this defense, in my opinion, super powerful. You see just how fast it's coming in every single time. Now, what I wanted to do is also show you what it looks like whenever they block seven. So let's say that they block um, their running back and they're gonna motion block this tight end. Look how fast this pressure is still gonna come around the edge. So the slot corner is still gonna be pretty effective, um, pretty effective against this. If you wanted to base line, I'll show you, you can do that. Um, it's not it's not you can do both you can you can baseline this or not so the baseline is just going to get the slot corners out just a little bit and what you'll see here is he'll just come in a little cleaner against max protect so they're blocking seven i'm sending six and i'm getting one free every single time that is a really really good formula and you know you'll see here that the one thing i don't like about this baseline is when i man this guy up he moves so that's one of the reasons why I don't really like baseline, but, and you can still get this in without, without, without that. So here again, this time I'll motion block, um, I'll motion block this guy. Remember your responsibility is to go get the tight end. So you're going to get the tight end and you see we're getting a disengage over the A gap. Okay. So it's just a real simple pressure. Um, it's, it's, it's really hard to block this consistently. And it's really hard to block this and give your actually get time in the pocket, right? You can block this, but you don't normally, you're not normally going to get a lot of time in the pocket. The other thing that's really good about this is you could run this five man variation of it. And even if the running back blocks, a lot of times it'll come in. It didn't come in right there, but a lot of times the five man will come in uh, pretty, pretty well, even just against a blocked running back. Why? because the edge threat is always going to be at play. Um, if you put edge threat on your dudes, they will scream. There you see, there's a five man, we're still coming in screaming. 
So it's really hard to pick this blitz up. Um, another way you could run this is you could use her this safety. Um, and then what I like about this is I can man this guy up with this guy. He's on the line of scrimmage, and I could do this. This is a five-man variation, but because the running back is manned up by a linebacker on the line of scrimmage that's like down in the box and in the like in the line of scrimmage, what you'll notice here is when I max protect this, it doesn't always stop this. This is just a five-man. This is a five-man. Boom. Pressure. So I think that's pretty interesting. So everybody's manned up. You're only sending five people. Um, but you can send five. You can send six. Um, you know, if you wanted to man this guy up here, you might just you just want to move him a little bit. So you see here, boom. And the six man is incredible. And if you go guard that tight end, it's going to be really hard to, to move the ball. So this is a really good defense. I think it's one of the most powerful defenses uh, in the game. If you want to learn my entire 146 defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below, click the link, and we hope to see you guys at the Patreon page.